Hey everyone, um, I got a new book and I'm really excited about it, so I thought I'd do something special. Um, I quickly want to show it to you and then I thought I'd give you a choice of uh, which model I, I'll demonstrate from it. So the book is by Tomoko Fuse, um, it's on spirals. It actually comes in this great um, case, in a bag, I guess, for protection. It's an insanely beautiful book. I, um, I rarely obsess about books, I have to admit. I, I love buying books. They're, they're um, all very wonderful, of course, when I buy them. I, I'm kind of a bit picky. But, um, but once in a while I get a book and it's just so fantastic and so beautiful that I, I just absolutely obsess about it. And this is one of them. Uh, another one was Origami Essence by Roman Diaz um, and perhaps Origami Tessellations by Eric Gierde and um, Origami Design Secrets by Robert Lang. Those are probably the other three that I've, I've really obsessed about. So, um, uh, Origami Sterne by Carmen Sprung. Yes, that was the fourth one and this is the fifth one. Spiral Origami Art Design by Tomoko Fuse. It's a hardcover book, quite thick, um, beautifully bound. Uh, this is done by Fiek Verlag and um, they concentrate on origami um, and they've got an origami exhibition and stuff like that. Um, they do fantastic work and this has been a labor of love. <laughs> They worked a long time on this, and it's simply beautiful. It's 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 the, the print, the layout, the way it's bound. Um, everything is really beautiful. Like even though it's a very heavy book, you can open it, and it basically folds flat and it doesn't close up. And that's just because of the way it's bound and the way the paper fi fibers are aligned and everything like that. And as to be expected from Tomoko Fuse, the diagrams are superb. Um, okay, I, I will have to give you this, uh, this warning, I guess. This isn't purely origami in, in the most strict, strictest sense. There are diagrams in here which you can just fold along with, but um, there's so much more. Like, similarly to origami design secrets, which was a lot about the design process and kind of how to go about um, designing yourself and what techniques are used in different models. Um, this also has uh, quite a big design component and, and art component, that's why it's called Spiral Origami Art Design. Um, so there's, there's quite a lot of models in there that aren't from square sheets, uh, but that kind of require cutting and, and that it's not even um, regular shapes. But um, what can I show you? Um, for example... Uh, this is one of the patterns I constructed using the technique in the book and and obviously well it's not <laughs> it's not a square but um, you can uh, fold paper origami um, with that pattern and get uh, beautiful results so I can perhaps show you um, an example page this is just a random one I didn't really pick it this is um, in the first section, which is around um, helices, and um, I've talked too much already, I guess, so let's go um, and show you some models I folded. Uh, the first one is a spiral. Actually, this is the one model I folded before the book existed, I guess, because I saw a picture um, in a, an exhibition book, and I thought, I've got to give that a go. Um, and so I told it that before, but uh, just reading through the book, I, I gave it another go, and here it is. Kind of gave it a bit of background, which destroys the translucency. Not sure whether this is better. Oh yes, I think it is. And um, isn't that beautiful? And it's an absolutely beautiful fold. So uh, that's a spiral, um, and that's presented in the first section as is this um, this small spiral here. And uh, I guess this doesn't look quite as amazing, but it is really amazing, especially for someone that's so fond of mathematics as me, because this is a Pythagorean, or how do you pronounce that? 
ähm, Pythagoras Spirale Pythias, Pythagoras Pythagorean Spiral, I guess that's it. Um, and you kind of have square root of two, um, square root of one length, which is one centimeter, and then square root of two, three, four, five, and so on, on, on until eleven, just folded, and it's it's well, it's one strip of paper, and um, I guess it could be a fun exercise if you're learning about um, a Pythagor Pythagoras, 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 and um, you know, a squared equals b squared plus c squared in a um, in a triangle with a right angle, um, and it's an it's a nice way of uh, constructing um, square roots just with folding. So that's that. Um, that was um, both from the first section of the book. There's four main sections of um, of diagrams plus. Um, then interesting information about the author Tomoko Fuse. Then um, let's see. The next section is on spirals, and this is a solid shell. So you can see it's kind of 3D. Um, first fold. So you know it's um, it's a bit messy, but I, I was just testing it out. And um, and and it has 12 segments. And then I have another one. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Uh, with is which is a nautilus um, with 12 segments and it's kind of flatter but because of quite a lot of paper it does go quite 3d in this end and then I folded uh, the navel shell this oops this was my first fold and you can see this is what Tomoko Fuse calls the navel and um, because I like this model a lot, I decided to uh, fold it a second time, uh, going a bit crazy with the paper. This is, I, I'm not sure whether you can see this, but this is kind of furry paper. You might be able to, let me take that scratched piece of paper, you might be able to see. Nope, you can't. But anyway, I'm going to show you a picture. Um, it's furry. It's, it kind of has a lot of... Um, I think it's probably paper fibers that you can really see and that are stuck on top. Um, and it made it a bit harder to fold with, but um, I think uh, made quite a funny, no, not a funny, quite a beautiful finish. Then I, um, there's also some modular origami in there. Not a lot, not a ton, um, but I thought I'd show you this modular spiral shell. It's quite tiny. Um, very beautiful, um, inspired by Toshikatsu Kawasaki's spiral snail shell. Um, but this is from Four Sheets, and my first fold was actually from very regular uh, kami, so that might be easier to recognize rather than this well, beautiful washi, but um, I'm not sure about the resolution. Plus, it's like 4 a.m. here, so the lighting is kind of off. Um, that's all from the second section, which is on spirals. Then the third section, I first skipped because I thought like, wow, that's going to be work. Um, but yesterday, um, Felix and uh, my husband Ulf spent lots of time together, so I had some spare time on my hands. So I thought, yep, I'm going to try it. And I'd shown you kind of this, um, this crease pattern. So I went ahead and constructed that and then um, pre-creased and everything and then managed to collapse this shape. You can see that. Which is a whirlpool spiral with the parameters 4, 10, 10. So there's a theory on how to construct very different ones. This one is kind of a square. That's what the 4 is for. And then 10 and 10 are two angles which kind of decide the um, how, how much this um, scales down and how much it, it kind of whirls. Um, a ton of work, but I think absolutely beautiful. Um, and then the fourth section is kind of a special case of these whirlpool spirals, um, which are called uh, coil fo folds. 
where one of the angles um, is zero so that this actually doesn't get smaller and smaller but it stays the same shape and then well we can squish this together and it's kind of like um, Chinese lanterns and this one of course we can squish together too it's it folds very flat and and I guess it looks really beautiful like that too but I think my favorite view is kind of looking in there and kind of seeing all those creases so um, I've been talking way too long already but I'm just so super excited and I thought I just wanted to give you a first overview. I've had this book since like three or four days, depending on how you count. Um, and as you can see, I've folded tons, especially given that I really don't have that much time for folding right now. Um, uh, so it's just, you know, a clear show of um, absolute um, devotion and, and loving the book so much. So, um, it's available online at Fiek Verlag. Um, it's, um, well, I mean, Fiek Verlag is German, but this book is in English. Um, I, I can just highly recommend it. It does come at a price, um, but you definitely get what uh, you pay for. Like, it's so super fantastic. I, I, I cannot express in words. But, uh, initially, I'd say, uh, you can vote on um, which model I'm going to be presenting from the book. So I thought I'd, um, initially I thought I'd pick one, one from each section, but seriously guys, this takes hours to fold. At least it took me hours to fold and, um, and I'm just going to exclude that. Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly technical and then lots of patience. So um, I don't think it would be that fun to make a video on it either. Plus, um, uh, I think it's nice to, to keep a couple of secrets that are just in the book. Uh, so the first model I thought you might enjoy is the spiral. So that's number one. And then, well, why not? The uh, Pythagorean, uh, Pythagorean spiral, or however you pronounce it. Um, that's another one. Uh, this might be fun with, you know, the folding isn't that complex as uh, this one is really easy to fold too. Uh, it requires some cuts, right? Like this uh, doesn't include any cuts, like these are, these are the only three cuts you make. Um, if I'm giving away too much there. <laughs> and um, so that's number one, that's Number two, I'd probably elaborate a bit on why um, it works. Um, so it might be kind of mathy and perhaps interesting to, to people doing mathematics at school or teaching mathematics or just those interested in, in mathematics, whatever. Um, I'm, I'm losing track. Number three, um, I think the... Um, the navel shell would be really nice. If I was given a choice, I'd probably present this one because it's um, it's more well not traditional origami, but it kind of feels more like um, the other models you'd see in other books. Like it starts with a square, you fold a bit, and then you get this amazing, amazing model. Then number four would be this modular um, spiral shell, um, also much more traditionally origami. And number five would be a coil fold, which um, really would be like probably me explaining how to uh, construct a crease pattern, then score, crease um, and collapse. So, um, not so sure whether this is the most interesting one. Um, it would be quite different though. So, to recap, um, oh, how are you going to vote? Just leave a comment and um, this is number one. And, oops, this is number two. Um, this is number three, uh, this is number four, and this is number five. 
and I just display some magic pictures to show them again because all of these are photographed for happy folding too. So, uh, take a vote. Um, this video is 15 minutes long, wow, sorry for that, but as I said, I am just super excited about Spiral Origami Art Design by Tomoko Fuse, which you can order online um, at Fieck Verlag. Yes, shame this plug, but seriously guys, it is an amazing, amazing book. It's advanced. There are some, uh, not well, yes, there are some quite simple diagrams in there, but there's also a lot of crease pattern and some theory on how you can take it a step further, um, which I, I absolutely adore. And I think um, anyone who, who loves origami and isn't all that strict about, you know, it needs to be from a square and no cuts and whatever. If you aren't too strict about that, I think you're going to love this. And it's going to fill you with hours of joy. Um, and there are also beautiful, beautiful pictures in there. It's like really artistic. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, but I'm going on and uh, there we go. We've got 60 minutes. So um, take a vote by commenting and um, I'm going to probably leave it at a week and then I'm going to count and, and then I'll let you decide, decide which model I present, which is kind of scary. But um, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, um, and happy folding.